Welcome to Shortview Trading. It's your morning market here for Friday, 5th of February. What matters today for traders? Markets are like one big puzzle. And if you work out how that puzzle plays out and how it works and how it changes over time, how correlations evolve and relationships evolve between global financial markets, different asset classes, between different asset classes and, and across different geographies, then you have a very good starting point for, for tilting the risk reward in your favor as you come up with trade ideas. Take gold, for example, pretty weak yesterday, selling off as real bond yields back up, squeezing the gold price. And of course, it's gold and real yields that have a really strong relationship. They're one key piece of that global puzzle. In fact, you can see from the chart in front of you now, the correlation between the two assets is really pretty tight. As real bond yields back up and move higher, gold comes under pressure and moves lower. Yesterday, we saw that move, real yields up a bit, gold lower. In fact, if you look at the chart, real bond yields troughed back in August last year at the same time as the gold price was peaking. So this relationship's inverted. It's key. It works very well. It's worked very well over long periods of time. It's not always perfect, but it's pretty good. And really, I think the fact that real bond yields have held that minus 1.8% yield level several times now since August is a very good indication that it's key technical support and it's likely that, that real bond yields will be backing up from here and gold will be breaking down. So the gold price has struggled since August. It's range bound and trending lower consolidating. In our view, it's probably going to roll over and head much further south. So that's one big piece of the puzzle. And of course, that big puzzle in global financial markets also extends to equities. And in the short term, as Harry outlined yesterday, equities are dominated by fear and greed. The one to two week moves tend to be dominated by what's happening in our risk appetite models, where fear and greed is in global financial markets. And as we showed you yesterday, the market was pretty fearful at the start of this week. You'll remember it sold off at the open in Asian trading hours, S&P futures down sharply. So with that, our models are back and showing the market's greedy on a short term basis. But there are also lots of other relationships that work in equities. And at the moment, over recent uh, months, really back to the pandemic sell off in March, April, since then, we've seen a very good correlation between the euro dollar exchange rate and the behavior of the S&P 500. And a strong dollar has been correlating with a weak S&P 500 up until the last few trading sessions. And indeed, if you look at this piece of the puzzle now, you can see the chart in front of you, the dollar euro exchange rate and the S&P 500, there's been a divergence this week. So that leaves us the question, which is right? Is the dollar about to start selling off? Is the equity market about to sell off? Is that correlation still valid? And of course, other clues to that puzzle about where will equities go from here are evident in what's happening in the price action in Asian equity markets. Because globally, risk appetite tends to correlate quite well. Most asset prices tend to move together. Broadly speaking, risk appetite washes around the various time zones and passes from one region to another, from the States to Asia to Europe and so on. So there's a correlation in risk appetite. So you get clues from Asian price action as to what may well happen in other parts of the world. And of course, as we've been highlighting here as well, the Fibonacci's in Asia are much poorer. The price action is much weaker. Key Asian equity markets like the Shanghai Composite, the Korean Kospi and the Hang Seng over in Hong Kong have all struggled to break through key Fibonacci resistance levels at the 61.8% retracement level of recent losses. So they look weaker, as you can see in those charts in front of you now, and they're not supporting the strength that we're seeing in the US equity market. So in other words, there are big question marks about this relief rally we've seen in the States. And there's, and there's lots of pieces of the puzzle that help us solve that problem, or more realistically, help tilt the odds in your favor because trades is all about risk reward and tilting the odds. Knowing the future precisely is not possible, but tilting the odds in your favor is. So markets are one big puzzle. And to see how we fit that puzzle together each and every day, please see our daily rag available to subscribers via the website. In that, we update our view on the puzzle each and every day. We look at the relationships, we look at the fear and greed models, and we look at how we can tilt risk reward in our favor in terms of future trades. So for further detail on how we're playing this market, please see today's daily rag available to subscribers via the website. 
So what are we watching today? Well, today's all about the US non-farm payrolls at 1.30 London time. That's always a critical data point. Added to that, we've got two Bank of England MPC members, the Governor Bailey and the Chief Economist Andy Haldane, both speaking following on from the Bank of England's decision yesterday. And then, of course, there's a ton of earnings out of the States, the fourth quarter S&P earnings continuing. No particular major features, but lots of companies reporting. So that's it from us. That's your Morning Market Hit for Friday, 5th of February. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe on YouTube. Simply search under Shortview Trading or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.